What's up? What's up? That's a new intro. Hey, it's Faye. It's like one, and I was like, um, what should I film? <laughs> I know. On Instagram, you guys keep tagging me to review Metacube's red cushion. So, as a try with Faye review, I got an extra one. Stay until the end if you want it. Oh, I thought it'll be nice to share the colored lenses I'm wearing today. Oh, shoot. There's still eyelash glue on me lashes. Can't get it. Still there. Still there. Okay, please ignore or judge if you want. I don't care. I'm lazy. Who cares? I kind of care. I'm wearing Olenza's Sacris in Natural Brown from Pink Icon, in case you're wondering, since I get loads of questions. I think it's fair to start off by showing you the before, aka my skin on the daily. This cushion went viral for the acne coverage, so I'm setting my standards higher than my short 5 foot self. I was seriously debating to just apply this straight onto the skin or not. Let's apply it as if I would on a normal day. I'm starting with eye cream. I know you're like, what the hell? Be patient. BTW love this eye cream. It dries matte, so it's perfect for daytime. It's important to use one for the day and another for the night. Everything will be linked below if you're interested. Then going in with sunscreen. I'm skipping moisturizer. What? That's because I'm adding in my hyaluronic acid oil. It's going to supply me with hydration and elasticity bounciness, all that good stuff. And yes, no primer today, only because I wanted to test its longevity alone. The packaging reminds me of a tin bottle, but more lightweight than what it looks. A bit bulky, but the overall look is gorgeous, silver and black, beautiful. I'm going in with two puff dabs, and yes, that's how saturated the puff absorbs. I'm gonna apply this all over on one side first. These two puffs lasted that whole half without having to grab more. A trick when applying a cushion that absorbed a lot of product is to press your face with pressure initially, then after, take your sweet old time and lightly pack your face to blend it out. Seriously, the texture of this felt amazing. I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure some people might say it feels like a normal cushion but I don't know to me my skin felt more accepting to it this cushion consistency feels more like an American cushion I don't know how to explain it the formula is heavier but it doesn't look heavy I don't know I do have huge pores and I am acne prone so it's really hard to find a cushion with coverage I'm sure girls can relate to this problem if you're on the same boat so far I am impressed no lie chicken thigh this is the darkest shade in 23, but it is still one shade lighter. My skin did get more light over the course of winter, but it's okay, we can still make it work. Again, going in with two puffs only, I'm gonna see how it builds on top of these peaks. So far, so good. I did notice that this product, like other cushions, doesn't really sink into big pores on the cheeks, which could be a good or bad thing. I do recommend to wear primer on the face so you're not left with holes, but as far as nose pores, it did a great job covering those alone, you know. Keep it rolling. Wow, I am really shook about the payout. It doesn't look cakey and it didn't emphasize the dryness on my acne spot. My skin looks like skin and that usually doesn't happen with a cushion that has this kind of coverage. The only thing I don't like again is how my big acne pores on the side are ready to swallow your eyes. <laughs> But that typically happens when you don't wear primer. Regardless, look at that glow from within. My soul, my bones, my nerves. Here is the cushion in natural lighting. You can really tell the color difference. And oh my gosh, Mount Everest is saying hi to its neighbors. However, it's not that bothersome to me. So like, okay, I, I can work it. Eight hours passed by and it's now 9 p.m. I did go out but changed back. My hair's still not combed and yeah, you got a problem. I didn't think so. <laughs> the product did oxidize. I scratched off a pimp by the way. I couldn't help it. There was one main problem I found. I am oily skin so the cushion rubbed off my nose and it was a bit obvious and not expected. Therefore, use a face powder to fix that if you're oily skinned, especially on the T-zone. The coverage still looks amazing compared to 
to all of the other cushions I've ever tested or tried. Holy shit too. It's more translucent now, enough to see that it looks like skin with minor flaws, but not to the point where you're like, dang, the agony though. I decided to touch up to see how it'll cover and wow, it's not cakey at all. It doesn't feel cakey or flaky. So if you want to touch up during the day, go for it. There are no dry patches around my acne anymore. I think that's because my natural oils were able to come through a bit without losing control. So one, this is breathable for your skin. However, if you don't like the shine, powder. If I had to choose one cushion to use forever, by far, I'd say it's this one. The formula works great on acne skin. It did not irritate me. It did not break me out. It didn't feel itchy on my bumps. I'm so happy that this cushion worked for my skin. And if you want to try it too for yourself, because it does retail for $30, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram at Hey and comment down your Instagram so I can reach you. This will close on April 8th. Oh yeah, if you're going to the BTS concert on Wednesday in Chicago, holla at your girl because I'm going to home oh, gym. Okay, I gotta go before I get hyped. Until next time, I'm sending the bye. It all can love you, love you, love you. Sadden, yeah. That's it.